Alrighty. What up, what up? Uh, this might be a team match. We'll see. I did pick uh, manual selection. Uh, no, nope, they're just going random. They still might be a team. They might make a team based on where they spawn as well. Uh, what is this? Is this some sort of meta gameplay thing where, okay, no, they're just all late to the party, I guess. <laughs> kind of weird. Teal's AFK. All right, anyways, we got X Crispy in uh, Algeria. Yep. And he is white. We got Lord, Lord Jason, I guess. In Egypt. We got Yuri Clint in Denmark. Uh, Lazy. Ha, huh, that's cheeky. He does the dropship trick, or any flying unit trick, and just kill him with SUVs. I like it. Imagine then he's going to lure the Marines in the bunker to the cannons. That's why he. I don't know. I might do that. Uh, yeah, so lazy in Ireland. That dude. Uh, Denmark does get this little island too, so. Don't quite know my Danish uh, geography, but maybe that's a thing where there's a little island up here off in the upwards of England or something. I don't know. Uh, and then we got Evil Creature in Norway. And. Wow, Green already dropped here. Interesting. Right, because you start with dropships. So, what the heck? Did Teal just sacrifice all his vultures already? Oh my god. Where'd you? Oh, he probably has them in the dropship. I would hope so. I hope he didn't just sack them all somewhere. Problem is, I don't see any damaged buildings, so I don't see how that's the case. Unless he just ran past and battled with. Actually, maybe he did do that, eh? Maybe he had a battle with Green here. And because uh, it's only turrets here, right? So the vultures would have slid by. There should be no reason the tanks took any damage. So maybe there's some lings that spawn here, but I don't think so. It's just these, I think. I don't know. Anyways, that's evil creature in Denmark. Looks like he might have lost his vultures there to green. And then last we got poop 44 in green. Greek in Greek in Greece. So uh, yeah. I I guess I'm just assuming it's a free for all then. No one's really said anything, have they? Oh we got a Spanish dude. Yeah, doesn't really seem like they coordinated a team to it, did they? So So yeah. Yeah, this lag is kinda of annoying. I don't think it's me, but they might ask me to leave. Hopefully not. Usually what happens and you always gotta be suspicious of the Spanish folk, no offense to them, but uh, it's just kind of a trend that happens. On average, more so than otherwhere, but it's just infrastructure, I guess. I wish them the best internet wishes of all time. But if it lags, it lags. Okay. Uh, orange left. Because he, he said his food burnt. Uh, orange was here, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, he was in Ireland. That's funny. So he said that his food was burnt. So. 
He left. And okay, so we got white here already going for Morocco. I like it. Smart move. I mean, you got these sunken series doing a great job taking minimal damage here. Uh, I'd probably. Hmm, what would I do here? I guess this is fine. Just keep luring. It just might be better to like do it with a marine or two because 38. Um, so 19 damage. Is that right? 19 damage to. Uh, to a marine, so you probably could get out of there without dying. Maybe not, that might be tough. Obviously, the glass have a lot more health than marines, so. But he did a good job. He soaked up all that damage in sunkens. Beautiful. Uh, green actually dropped here as well. Interesting. What the heck? Just to build this one? Wow. So he, very confused how he got there. Did he really sneak through here or something? No, there's no way. He went up here. What the heck? I guess he just traveled along here, skirted by these cannons, I guess. Or no, he just drop ship, flew through here, through here. And I guess went here. Or, hmm. Maybe he just flew right over the bunker, didn't care. He didn't take any damage. That's crazy. How did he get over there? I'm a little baffled by that. Surely there's some strategy. I don't see... I mean, Denmark doesn't start with something, right? What the hell? You... I mean, maybe these are firebat bunkers, actually? Maybe that's why. Maybe there's firebats in these. That could be why. So it flies over here, comes through here. How do you... Maybe he just lost... Lost one of his dropships. Or maybe he repaired it. That's a thing, too. He's actually using it to build supply up here, interestingly enough, so... Interesting. Um, kind of makes sense, actually. He doesn't really have space to make supplies, so... You do need some some level of supply to build units, of course. So. Wow, he built what? I think that's a little overkill, my dude. But all right, you do you. So he went for four armories. I have a feeling he just forgot that he built the first two and then just built two more. But you never know. You never know. That is definitely overkill, though, in my opinion. Maybe he'll actually make use of it and go for mass, mass uh, Valkyries or race or something weird. Pretty odd if you ask me, though. Uh, so Blue's been steady working here. Ooh, if this is going to work. Nope. And now he's going to lose medics, too. Looks like he's having a rough time. What you want to do is build a tank or two to take out these bunkers. The range, as well as the, of course, quarter damage that goes due to tanks and mechs. So, bit of a blunder there, I think. Uh, Red is just massing up ghosts. I don't know what he's planning on doing here. Don't know if he knows the map very well. He did drop here, but then died? How did he die? I remember seeing those two ghosts. But it doesn't look like the tank was shooting him. Very odd. I don't understand what happened. Oh, he's over here too. What? So I guess he lost a dropship. I don't know how, like, did he pick pick the ghost back up? I'm very confused about that. Whatever. He's doing his thing. I guess he just probably doesn't know the map that well, doing weird stuff. Who knows? Seems like Blue's kind of in the same boat. Don't know really why you... Well, I guess this sort of makes sense. Protect from a big drop from someone, but... I don't know. Seems a little silly this early on, but whatever. So he's a little constricted. Don't think he knows what to do too well. He's got his dropship ready, though. I guess he's going to do another drop. 
Let's see if he makes headway, but really looks like this is kind of Green's game, or White's. White's been doing great, too. Uh, he could build a tank, and I believe he can actually snipe these pylons without taking any cannon shots. So I'd like to see that. He doesn't actually have any add-ons, though. Just making Goliaths for now, which is fun. They're cheaper. They're, they're very good as well. It's nice to mix in a few tanks, though, for the range and whatnot. Uh, okay, red has random... Do they ally? I guess they ally. Okay, then. Well, that explains a little bit, because this is blue's turret, so that all makes sense now. I guess... Oh, poop alliance. There you go. Sure. Sure, he says. So, Coop and... What was his name? Lord Jason. They have formed an alliance. Hence, Diplomacy. That is the name of the game. Um, not really feeling too hopeful for Teal, sadly. But we'll see what he does. Uh, he really hasn't done anything, has he? I mean, I'm pretty sure you can snipe these bunkers without taking any damage with these tanks. So, don't know why he hasn't done that. I guess. He... Oh, I saw he had Valkyries. Did he lose all of his Valkyries? Or was that green with Valkyries? I mean, he built two starports, so I assume he had something built. You know what I have a feeling that happened though is he did all the dirty work, went in with Valkyries, killed this, and then Green cleaned up <laughs> Green uh, cleaned up Teal's army. I have a feeling that's what happened, but you never know. Anyways, Green doing great. He's got two gas as well as this, so he's probably way overkill with gas. Uh, he is sort of spending it, though. He's got eight. I mean, theoretically, he should be way more up on gas, but I guess he's using it. Nobody's using it on. I guess, uh, yeah, these cost gas. Upgrading uh, air air weapons cost a bit of gas. And now he's just full mech, just dominating. So there goes Teal. He, yeah, so he doesn't really know how this works. He... Unless he's again loaded in, in the dropship here, I think he just lost both those vultures to this, and he could just be doing this. So. He learned the hard way, fair enough. I've been there myself when I played my first couple games. It's kind of just Starcraft mechanics. You gotta you gotta realize that only ghosts and bunkers can outrange your tanks. So. Might as well at least try to bring a tank up and see if it has range advantage or not. Uh, yeah, of course no one... No one has to be perfect at StarCraft, so... It's just a game at the end of the day. But I'm all about that optimum play, so... You know what it is. Uh, getting hit by the turret, wow, it's annoying actually. <laughs> You kind of tend to forget that there's a random turret there. But there is. There certainly is, isn't there? Uh, okay, it looks like he went around and dropped. I guess that makes sense. He doesn't really need to engage these cannons, does he, actually? Because he can just kill the bunker, build here. Yeah, it's a smart idea, really. So I'm assuming that's what he's doing with this dropship. He's going to maneuver it around as well. Uh, he took this island, took this island, took this island. Perfect. And this one. So he grabbed all the islands. Red's kind of derping around. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Okay, he does know what to take. Okay, so he's not totally clueless. Good stuff. Good stuff. Maybe I'm just talking shit. Green taking out some turrets for accessibility purposes, I imagine. Uh, he's really pulling ahead, I feel like. Yeah, even saving up some money now and dropping here. 
Okay, so it looks like he killed that tank. Interesting. Killed the tank, I assume with lings and stuff. Now he's easily able to end this spot. Ah, that actually takes longer than you'd think. Buildings, I think, have uh, pretty solid armor on them, and uh, doesn't have any upgrades on them. So. Still doing seven damage though, so don't think he'll have a problem before the two minute mark. What is the full timer? Four fifty seconds. Okay. Four minutes and fifty seconds. <laughs> he wants to ally white too. That would be a three-way alliance, though. It'd be kind of silly. So there he goes. He's doing exactly what I suspected. Wow, able to take that out fast, even though they have 12 armor. Yeah, they do 22 damage, so it makes sense. Vision, please. He wants vision from white. <laughs> So blues really only take one thing. I don't know. These guys doesn't save money, I don't think, either. Red has a big army, though. Look at that. It's actually impressive in terms of uh, <laughs> in terms of numbers, but it's purely ghosts. So it's not going to be great against Mac. It will do all right, though, because they um, are Zerg armor and they have 120 health which is quite a bit considering you get two of them at once. That being said though, these guys have 90 health and you get two of them. They have two armor that they start with. And then there's the other lings that uh, have 110 health. So it's nice and all but I always kind of thought these ghosts were a little underwhelming, but you do get two of them, so there is that. You also get two, uh, where is that, right here. These guys do significantly more damage. It's only three more, but, you know, and they have two armor that they start with. These guys, yeah, these guys start with zero, so I don't know. Something about these, people say they're good, I guess. Maybe you pair them with Zerg. Uh, units for the armor, maybe that's the idea, but I just don't, I don't really see it, I don't know. There's better ghosts, there's better units in general, I don't know. Of course they're going to do well against certain things, but it's kind of Starcraft in general, so against most things they won't do upgrades. Nonetheless, he's, uh, he's... <laughs> Amass quite a few, and he's beginning to drop and do stuff with them, so. No vision, no alliance. I don't think he knows what I'm good means, apparently. How is he attacking? Okay. Yeah, so Green's still got the money advantage, he's got the unit advantage, he's got the income advantage. I just. I don't know. Yeah, he's even taken advantage of his tanks, as uh, Teal should have done. Teal has literally expanded to nowhere. Uh, surprised no one's taken these, actually. That's kind of interesting. Huh. For some reason, I assume Green took these, but no. Just one of the gas. Fair enough. And, uh... Killed that command center. I believe you got it in time, so... Actually, I should keep track of how much money you get for these. I think it's like 500 compared to 300 for these. I don't know. It could all be different too. I'm not too sure. Could be 600. Could be more. I don't know. So Goliath, I was able to outrange that. Much nicer than Ghosts. Because they'll do full damage to the hull once the shields are gone, so... It'll take a little bit with only one, but 
significantly, significantly faster than a ghost or two. So. Chunk each time with the ghost that literally goes down by one or two, not even. Plus, what about minus? I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, so green now just going up the teal doesn't even care anymore. Teal, I feel like just wasted so many of his units. Doesn't know what to do and all that. So he's having a rough time, man. Trying to run. I don't know where you're running to, but best of luck to you. It's not going to work out though, bud. Nowhere to land over there. He does see the writing on the wall though, so. Uh, he just decides to fly away. How can you blame him? Didn't lift the factory though. He's grabbing some units in the dropship as well. Probably should have made another dropship though. He made a race, so he was getting gas this whole time, decided to make a race with him. And he's not even flying him away. Oh, there he is. Good, good. He just keeps those away. But I mean, it doesn't really mean much, does it? He's just going to be hanging out in space, doing absolutely nothing. It'd be cute if he got a uh, cloak or something. That'd be kind of cool, but. You need, I think, eight gas for that, and I don't think he has it, considering he's been actually making rates, which cost gas on their own. Uh, so white, now dropping this way, he, I guess, took here, and I went to the capital, so we're taking out these gun pads, hmm. I guess there's two there. So I guess gun pads have a range of five. So there he killed the one that I can't click on. And there's a missile. I think the missile launchers have uh, the same range as glass. And there goes green. Just poor teal, man. Poor teal. You didn't even have to do that, Green. That was just kind of rude, man. Right? I mean, the dude flew away. He gave, he gave you his base. And now you're just killing his, his useless buildings anyways? That is just rude. That is harsh, man. God. Anyways. GG rude. Maybe Blue's leaving? Weird. I'm playing with that dude. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. You, uh, I don't know if I'd talk. You weren't playing that optimally yourself. You only, I mean, you've been playing all game. You didn't kill this pylon. Didn't kill this pylon. And you only took two things. So, Red might not be the proest, but <laughs> just might want to do a quick mirror check. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Uh, but no worries. StarCraft is all about talking shit. So, I respect it. Uh, kind of cool how you can see the color. Teams. Okay. It's white, there's the white board. Green. Mixing green with uh, okay. the clothes. There you go. Blue and red. The nice team borders around the units. Yeah, I see this is basically white versus green for sure. Basically, from the jump, it kind of seemed to be shaping that way. 
Oh, wow, he actually is not reined in a Goliath. Nicely done, actually. I respect it. So. At least he's taking stuff, man. At least he's making moves. I mean, this, honestly, is hard to break. Like, you can't really drop into that, even with Mac. You probably could, but I don't know. It's still dicey. And you could even saturate it even more, so you, like, literally can't even drop whatsoever. So you just avoided it at all costs, really. I mean, same with this. So are you really going to drop into that, you know? So. The islands might actually be a little overpowered in that sense, in terms of the ones where you can pack several several units onto onto it. So, but we haven't well, I haven't seen that too much. So, all right, he's got eleven Valkyries. Should be enough. Uh, he has three three too, so that should be plenty. Not to mention, oh, careful. It's only ghosts though. Look how little damage that did. 20 damage. Uh, and yeah, he's got tons of matrixes prepared. So I guess he's, yeah, he's just gonna chain, chain make matrix this one. Very nicely done. And he is absolutely zero developers, I imagine. Oh, might lose one. Oh, nope. Beautifully done. That's how you do it. That's the max value right there. I guess people don't even bother going for this one. Is it just not worth it? It's also kind of defensive, right? Like, if someone is in Spain and wants to drop you, it's kind of holding back a bit. So, I guess he just doesn't care to get that. He might even be able to shoot that with the Goliath, though, honestly. It's in the middle, you shoot that one, then once this is unpowered, you can... Uh, I think this one you need a tank or a gas. But this one, I think, you can hit with the Goliath to depower this one. But uh, he's opting not to do such silly things. Now Green just has tons of money, I imagine. Yep, 16k. And he's just going to mass mech and lings, looks like. Pretty good combo, I imagine. So. Did start upgrading them, after all. 3-3 three, three now, and his mech is 4-3. Nice stuff. Red's still hanging out. He's got 4-5. So if he finds something to uh, complement his ghosts, he could uh, he could do all right. The problem is he just doesn't seem to be doing much, but we'll see. Maybe he will. Maybe he's just buying his time, saving up money. Well, we can see how much money he has. He has 4K, so it's better than white, but uh, white's been expanding. He has a lot of income, so. Yeah. yeah I really don't see red making too much of a landmark on either of these two players. But you never know, man. Maybe they have an epic clash and then Red just does some donkey move and capitalizes in a weird way. Who knows? Ooh, we should have landed beside this. Could have got that free income. I don't think he's paying attention to that, but it's all good. Ten seconds. Well, oh, he does realize it's the factory. Five, four, three, two. I don't think he got it. That's funny. <laughs> Too bad. Literally one or two seconds too late. But he'll get it again in three minutes or whatever. So, not the end of the world. It's just about getting that extra edge, though, isn't it? Coulda, shoulda, woulda. 
could have shielded that. Interesting. So he just kind of avoided all the cannons, avoided all the bunkers, and the building where he can. Very interesting. I, I'm still so curious how he got over here. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, super weird. But uh, it seems because that bunker had fire bats in it or something in the, the Marines. Or he just lost a dropship, or he even repaired it. There certainly are explanations. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like uh, White's feeling feisty. They just want to take out Red or something. We'll see. Don't really see why he'd be building down here. He wasn't planning on doing that. Because it does not look like he's pushing up into this, which would be pretty silly after all. So I think he's going to go for the big old push against Red. And uh, we might see Africa versus Europe, basically. I wonder if he'll just go right into the cannons or not. He's got 3-3 three, three on him, too. 4-4 four, four here. Yeah, he could just pretty much aim it, I imagine. Hydras are probably actually not the greatest against ghosts because they're actually medium units. The ghosts are going to do half damage. So, uh, they're doing about six or seven damage. Which, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the problem with the ghosts, man. As soon as you get half damage or quarter damage, the armor is just such a big factor. And you can't really, you can't really damage the dang units out there. He's got bombers too. 200 dead. So he could theoretically just YOLO. Oh, wait, no. They're light units. So it does actually take two hits. So he's going to need to get some really strong hits to actually use these. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't. I mean, these are light units too. So the ghosts are actually going to have a much easier time killing these than these hydras. I'm not sure if that's the best option, but could just be backup. Could be uh, could be just future prospects. Units. Man, I tell you, that Reem is really taking over. The problem is he has all the money too. Like he's expanded all this. He's just picked off all these cities and in in prime spots where he doesn't need to get too involved and take losses to the cannons, but he still gets some nice income. And now that he's in Europe, man, he can just run wild. I imagine now is kind of the point where he doesn't even care about the cannons, as we're seeing. He's just going to attack all into them and just take everything. He didn't take these before two minutes, which he certainly could have, but he probably just doesn't care too much. Looks like he wants to get the observer first, okay. Not a bad idea either, and it would be nice to find out where the other players are, because I don't even think he's seen either of them, has he? Uh, White snuck a dropship in, I guess he went around here, I assume. Yeah, around here, dropped here or so, I think. Maybe he just saw that this was here and just, whoop, right through here, no worries. And in the middle. And now he's gonna have a free income here. Pretty nice for him. Not too shabby. He can also, I believe, hit this pylon and possibly this one as well with the glass. So he could easily take those out and take that next city. Problem is though, green, of course, is the problem. And the problem with green is that uh, he just has the ability to push out real fast and kill all this infrastructure and obtain it. And that's the difference here because he's only got three Goliaths, so sure he can kill these pylons, but it's going to take him ages. Meanwhile, the green is killing three cannons and a pylon in a matter of moments. So, yeah, this is looking quite dicey for anybody but green. 
And the fact that white is now attacking into red is also... I mean, maybe he won't go for it. Maybe he's just planning on expanding. Uh, yeah, he must have known red was here, though, because he saw these uh, these ghosts ages ago. So I think that's what he's planning on doing. I, I don't think this is the way to go. I guess he just hasn't seen green, though, is it? Is why? There's no reason to suspect green is as big as he is, but he should be noticing this as well. So now he's definitely going to see it. He's going to realize, man, he should not be attacking into red. Oh boy, he's trying to drop on him. Oh, okay. He drops the... Okay, I like that idea. That is probably how you do it. Because these dropships are... Yeah, they take virtually no damage. This probably won't work. Yeah, see, they're going to get shot. Looks like they got one hit, though. Not bad. And these glass, man, they are going to make short work. He's even got Matrix. Like, yeah, these ghosts. He's never attempted any other unit to complement his ghost army. It seems like he doesn't quite know Starcraft mechanics, where ghosts, of course, do quarter damage to large units, which makes them terrible in this case. And hey, I was once that way too. I didn't even know how Starcraft worked until I came back to it. I used to play as a kid and didn't know about all the damage types and how armor works and all that, how the double missiles work and whatnot. It's all quite cool the way it's balanced out with the x -ray. Simple yet uh, somewhat dynamic and diverse as well. Simple in terms of there's not an overwhelming amount of units. Because I've played a bit of Warcraft 3, and it's a great game. I don't like the graphics in it, but another big issue is there's just so much. There's just there's so many units. They have like there's hero units, so you have like spells for these hero units, which is probably fine for like making campaign maps and stuff like that would be super cool, but there's just so much going on. I, like, I never played as kids, so that's probably my bias where I never really knew how to kind of maneuver around all that, but yeah, I don't know. It's a great game. There's great custom maps on there if you want to check them out. Uh, they really messed up the remastered version. Which, of course, many people have brought up and bitched about. Rightfully so, probably. Luckily, they didn't mess up our precious StarCraft Free War, though, did they? They actually made it a lot better with these graphics. And that's all they did. They just upgraded the graphics. All you gotta do. Why ruin a good thing? Somehow. Warcraft 3 managed to delete the old game basically though, so there's no way to even install the old game if you have a if you're using Battle.net, which you kind of have to. It's, I mean, you do have to if you want to play online, but if you want to play single player, you gotta like find an old old copy and just play single player with it. So, I don't know. They done messed up. I guess that's what happens when you mix all these big corporations and corporate gaming companies. They just in it for the money. Back in the day, it started as a this gaming company with developers and all this. Crazy times in the world, huh? Crazy times indeed. Let's see what happens here. I would not dissuade you from buying some extra food and uh, perhaps getting out of the city. I don't know. Just saying. I actually have a feeling there's going to be a lot of revelations, as they say. I'm not really a religious dude per se, but. Really is the best word. 
<laughs> Revelations. The truth is, uh, well, the truth has been suppressed for ages, and, uh, and now it's kind of all coming to the surface, isn't it? You look at that one guy, what's his face? Starts with an E, ends in a Stein. I mean, there's just so much. People have known about it for ages, too. But this whole thing called the internet kind of just brought it all to light, didn't it? And here we go, man. Green just bulldozed through. White almost kind of threw up the white, the white flag there. Uh, yeah, I don't... I mean, you can see, I think his supply was like close to 150. He, eh, maybe it wasn't. I don't actually think he lost too many units against those ghosts because he was virtually taking all the tank shots, or the ghost shots to the Goliaths. So he, he really wasn't even taking any damage. And he also had this nice little tree here to avoid 50% of shots. So that helps too. So yeah, he's going to try, man, but green is indeed quite a bit thicker, isn't he? That boy thick. Building some factories down here. I guess he's going to rally units down here and go for a big drop. I mean, what else are you going to do? Where is it? Too hard to go in mainland. Lower mainland? <laughs> Dang it, Bull. I think that's game, though. That was the statement that he declared. Yeah, I mean, he sees the money. He sees the unit count. He's got good money himself, though, so he's not... He's uh, by no means, you know, poor like Red certainly is now. I mean, Red's just totally out of it. He doesn't even have an SCB to rebuild, I don't think. Sure don't look like it. Maybe if he did <laughs> sneak one in his dropship. I have a feeling he's just AFK, too. So. Doesn't really seem like he's... Oh, no, he was he was building units during that battle, so he's, he's still around. I mean, he's probably gone now, but... Yeah. Yeah, a lot of money, almost 300 units. It's going to be a rough battle, White. You probably, I uh, don't attack into that. Claim this, though, I like that. Probably doesn't even need the gas. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, he's got 11 gas. It's only one cannon, so, like, if you can kill it, you probably should, but I do kind of agree his priority is to <laughs> head back this way and try to defend, basically. Here he goes with Marines, he's going to mass up, uh... Oh, we can't make hybrids anymore, we got overtaken Ufke. Uh, Ghosts, he's probably going to make Ghosts, yeah. Because he's... Maybe seen these Lings, Ghosts... That's the one thing Ghosts will be pretty good against, I imagine, is these Lings. Uh, he might not have upgrades on them though, yeah, wow, zero armor at least. But, they are Zerg armor. Let's see, actually, where's his... I don't see an NG Bay doing upgrades. He does have one there, but it's not landed. It's not upgrading. I don't see any other NG Bay. All the... All the other stuff that he's got is just this. Just this little... Circle of Valkyries. Getting the gas. Yeah, there's just no way. Unless he completely derps 12 dropships. I don't see how Green loses this. White's really got to get on his borders now. Like he's, he's really going to have to anticipate this. I mean, he saw that, that uh, 
all of Spain and Portugal was taken because he used to have it. White used to have it, so. I mean, there's the drop ships. Four armor on them, too. Can we go? Oh, they're already loaded? Oh, okay. I was going to say he's got this army and he's loaded? Ooh. No, he's just doing that now. Hmm. He actually opted not to get this one. I guess... Are they faster? Maybe they are. Maybe dropships are faster. Because they have 10 armor, right? And he's got 9. So technically the armor's better. There's the drop. Um, yeah, it's all over. He's got Goliaths mixed in there. Go so can do great against that. Great DPS on the wings. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Ooh, well, yeah, you really should have put more stuff there. Yeah, it's definitely all over, isn't it? He's gonna float over. Yeah, that would not go well. He's gonna try to float over and build here. <laughs> Don't think that would work. I mean, he should have anticipated that more. I feel like these Goliaths were all here, and those dropships actually went over the Goliaths. He might have had more of a chance. I do say more of a chance, because I don't think he would actually have a chance <laughs> at the end of it. But he might have survived the first wave, basically. Serbia. I don't think Serbia is a thing, is it? Maybe, oh, maybe these are. We had a couple observers. We killed them. Huh? Wait, he wasn't. He was Denmark. He was Denmark. So what? He wasn't Norway, he was Denmark, and he killed Norway. Norway was Teal. So what was everyone? Norway, Serbia. I don't think there is technically a Serbia. Could be wrong though. Oh, wait a second, I'm dumb. Serbia, there we are. Yeah, so he wasn't actually Serbia, but he was... He did expand up to Serbia. Don't know my European map as well as I should, I guess. But yeah, he was... Okay, so he was saying what the other players were. Norway here, and I believe it was... Greece. And Serbia. The, the end of his... I don't know. He didn't really play much, did he? The end of his short lived gaming session of 10 minutes. Anyways, that was a. Nah, I guess it wasn't the greatest game, was it? I mean, it was nice to see some of the strategy. I mean, Teal just totally shit the bed. Orange left because he said his food was burning. Blue kind of shit the bed. And then claimed red was a noob, so he left, but. He was kind of derping infantry into bunkers with the ghosts in them, so he should have just had a couple mech units instead, I think. And green, of course, dominated. White was doing great, just didn't have enough, and he probably shouldn't have attacked into blue or red, I mean. I mean, maybe he should have, though. I mean, he didn't really take much damage, and uh, probably was, was pretty helpful to get those ghosts. And the income that came along with it. 
just didn't have enough. He was confined to Africa, basically, and uh, he was just running wild in Europe. So, yep, looks about right. Well, killed the. Uh, Killed almost as much. That's probably just a tally of uh, those red ghosts, but yeah, it makes sense. And he, he did actually trade fairly well against Green at the end there because he was kind of using that choke at the bottom, but he was kind of just not even caring at that point. Anyways, anyways, it was a reasonable one. Not the best game in the world, but we'll take it. Really hoping for some super like high level action packed team game at some point, but we'll see. It'll come when it comes. GG.